Huge spoiler warning for anyone who has not completed Sonic Mania. I'm gonna get straight to the point in this video, but if you've beaten Sonic Mania and you've done the final boss and have all seven chaos and have gotten the true ending, you may watch this video, but if you haven't, like I said in the beginning, spoiler warning, that's on you. So let's hop right into it. So as a lot of you guys know and who have paid attention to the uh, story going on in Sonic Mania, this is the Phantom Ruby. Although not a Chaos Emerald, the Phantom Ruby is said to be remarkably powerful and has unspeakable power. It is very interesting. But this Phantom Ruby is a mysterious gemstone found in the Angel Island as you may know. A lot of people speculated that this same stone is on the chest of infinite. It personally to me does not really resemble that, but at the same time, I also thought about the color of infinite. When, I, when you really look at infinite, he's all red of course, right? But then there's another time where he's not all red. In this promotional art right here, we see infinite's true color when he's not in that red-like form. And it seems like when he takes that red form, Everything on him and him himself turns all red when he's in that form. Very possible that this stone could be in Infinite's chest. It just doesn't look like the stone we see in Mania. Maybe it could be some kind of different version of the stone. We don't really know. But in my opinion, to me, they don't really look similar whatsoever. But it doesn't take out the possibility of it actually being that stone. You never know. It's a Sonic game. You never know. It's still very possible. This could be proven even more true because of the connection of Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces connecting together, which is the big secret now that is revealed. Because at the end of Sonic Mania, you see Sonic and the Phantom Ruby go through a portal together and he comes out of the portal doing the same exact kick move we see in Sonic Forces trailer. I'll play it right here. Now I'll play combining the Sonic Forces footage and the Mania footage so you'll see how it lines up together. That kind of proves further of this infinite theory that Phantom Ruby is probably the big secret and reason why infinite is the way he is. This could be the whole root of the problem of Sonic Forces of, because of the Phantom Ruby. Because how would Eggman be able to easily take down the world when he's been bested many times before? Maybe he uses the power of this Phantom Ruby to do it. Maybe that's how he gets back to Green Hill to fight Classic Sonic. I don't know, but I think that's a pretty big secret that they've been trying to keep. It was pretty simple to figure out, but I still feel like I had to make a video on it. But anyways, that's the little secret I feel like Sega was trying to hide from us. And they also included at the end of the true ending of Sonic Mania, so you can put two and two together. I'm really happy Sonic uh, Mania and Forces pretty much tie together it's pretty much confirmed by now because of that it only makes sense but uh i'm so glad they did that and i <laughs> this is unscripted but um i'm just I'm, I'm just so happy they decided to tie these two games together that's something sega hasn't really done too much i don't think we've even done it before honestly unless it was a direct sequel to something but this is really cool. I'm really glad they decided to do that. And I feel like that's the big secret that they wanted us to figure out. And I just had to make a video on it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.